Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front drive axle on this 04 Dodge Ram, same as most of these 02 to 08 uh, generation vehicles. Pretty easy. You need a 22 millimeter or 7 8 uh, socket and lug wrench, or I'm sorry, a lug wrench or a socket and ratchet. And you also need a 35 millimeter socket with an air uh, and impact wrench or a large breaker bar and pipe. First you want to remove your wheel. If you're just using hand tools, um, start with the vehicle on the ground, loosen the lug nuts first, then raise it, secure it with jack stands, and then remove the wheel. I've got um, air tools, so I'm going to use them. Uh, these are either 7 8 or 22 millimeter, both will work. Okay, so you'll notice here that the, the brakes are apart. You do not have to take the brakes apart. I was just um, doing this, filming this while I was doing a few different repairs. Uh, this really only, only involves lifting up the truck, taking the wheel off, and then removing and replacing the axle. Um, and you'll also notice uh, that I don't actually replace the axle with a new one because it wasn't bad on this vehicle. I was just doing the video uh, so you can see how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, hub nut off, and I've got a 35 millimeter impact wrench and socket. If you're using hand tools, you're going to have to take, you know, lift up, take the lug nuts off, um, take the center cap off, put the wheel back on and the lug nuts back on, and then use your breaker bar and pipe. Um, a little more difficult, a little more involved, uh, but uh, that's how you do it. So I'll just get to it and use my impact wrench here. Okay. Okay, and it's, I hit it and it moved, so it's free. Okay, so now what you want to do is get a pry bar. We have like that. Okay. Pull your axle right off like that. Hammer. out. Okay, so now we're just going to take our axle and put it right up in here, feed it into the hub, turn it a little bit so we know we're pushing it with the hub, push it right in. Okay, now I'm going to take my hub nut and using my impact wrench just to just to get it on there not really to tighten it all the way up yet okay now I'm gonna grab hold of my um, CV joint on the inside pull it. You go up on the top, pull your joint in as much as you can, get it going on to the axle. Okay, and then push it all the way on. Make sure it gets on there. 
Okay, so your axle's back in, put your wheel back up on, and put the lug nuts on there without the center cap. Just put them on by hand first, and then I'm just going to tighten them up a little bit with my uh, um, impact wrench preliminarily. Okay, so your hub nut, 185 foot-pounds. My poor torque wrench only goes up to 150, so there's 150. 185. Okay, now we'll raise the vehicle back up, uh, take the lug nuts off, put the center cap back on, and preliminarily tighten up the lug nuts, let the vehicle back down, and torque the lug nuts to 120 foot-pounds using a star pattern. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.